so we rented this van from Home Depot again. It's a van, not a box truck, because we needed to move a table. It's rear wheel drive, rear wheel drive. We got snow, and I'm purposely not walking here because you literally cannot walk. That's how dangerous it is. I mean, when we were trying to get up, this is steep here, we're trying to get up here, we literally had to pull all the way out to there and then gun it backwards, and that barely got it up. That's why you need some chains. But I mean, yeah, look at this. This is actually dangerous. Well, anyways, this is a 2020 Ford Transit of some sort. We'll have to take a look-see at what model it is. Okay, I'm actually nervous to be walking over here. It's a big, long fucker, whatever it is. Does it say? It doesn't say. Some sort of transit van. I think it's like 150, 250, 350. I'd say this is probably a 350. I think this is equivalent to like a 15 passenger van. It's got the sliding door. Oh fuck, I don't want to do this. This is all ice. If I slip, we have a viral video. Shit. Okay, well anyways, let's get a tour of it. I believe this is the same engine as the box truck. This is one year newer. This is a 2020 and it, you get a flip key now. Uh, unlock. I think one click unlocks the driver's door, the rest. The other click unlocks the back doors and the sliding door and all that. Oh, this is all ice. This is the fuel tank. The door only opens this much. Alright, I'm going to try to get in without slipping. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and of course we locked the wheel. Alright, I wanted to move the wheel. Pretty much similar inside. This is a 2020. No things up here. Light, which the other one didn't have. Does that turn on lights back there? Yeah, it does. Look. There are LEDs. No uh, mirror. We'll start it up. Being a 2020. Oh, yeah, listen to the chime. Let's see if this has about 3,000 miles. That chime is different than my dad's escape because his escape had a more pronounced one. We start it up. And there's the gauge clusters it turns on. But this one has a more toned, sounds more digital. Well, anyways. Does say tire low, but we will go ahead and start it up. I don't know what engine this is, but I would assume it's the same 2.8 liter V6 or whatever. Three point eight, three point seven turbocharged. That horn sounds very European. Obviously, the steering is buttery smooth because it's snowy. These stupid Euro stocks with the kick on, kick off brights. I will show the wipers this time. I forgot to last time. There we go. Those wipers look cheap and chintzy. And then that's your intermittent setting, and then you can pull forward to wash. Oh, let's see. There's a radio. This is different than the other car. Follow G106 on Instagram. This is a climate system. Hit on. This is nice, actually. And then you can, you know... It'll get up to speed. Hold on. It's actually a nice climate control system for a van. Let's just turn it off. Hazards. The shifter is the same stupid shifter that the other one had. That's drive, and then reverse has the camera. And I'll do it. If you twist it, the lines turn with you. Why does it keep dinging at me? I don't know. window is automatic. I don't think the passenger one is. Nope, it's not. Parking brake here. Let's see if this one works. Nope. 
Oh yeah, you got to pull it really far up. So it does work, but it you got to yank it real far up. The seat is very not adjustable. You just pull it forward and back, and then there's a lever under here, which puts you closer or farther. We'll take a look at the exterior. Now, again, I can't really show you stuff, but headlights are on we want. We'll do brights and hazards. Let's see if I fall on my ass and get a viral video. What the hell is that supposed to be for if it's not for a phone? Pens, maybe? I want that unlocked because I can reach in. Yeah, this sounds like a V6. Oh, fuck. I don't know how we're going to manage to... There you go. Halogens, of course. They're decent headlights, I suppose. For a chintzy little European Ford van. Oh, hell. Shut up! God, this is why I don't like Fords. Actually, we'll leave that on auto. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. No cell phones. I'll do the demo up here. And then you can... Oh, no, this one doesn't have the... Oh, yeah, it does. Manual. One and twos. And then that's drive. The shifter is pretty... We're closing this because it won't shut the fuck up. The shifter is relatively... I mean, if you go straight to drive... I mean, see, I'm in M. So, I mean, like... You do have to... That's drive, but it's, it's very... See, like... The gears are very close together. Okay. We've seen enough. We're gonna shut her off now. I don't know why it does that. Oh yeah, hazards are off. We'll shut her down now. I'm gonna try to show you the back without killing my... Oh. Close that big window. I'm gonna try to show you the back without killing myself. Oh yeah, this has the pull forward seats. This has a cool like divider here between between the two areas and then it's got a armrest. Okay. Oh shit. You saw me there, I almost slipped like a dick. Oh shit. Uh, I would assume if it's locked, you could hit this button and it would unlock just the back for you. But basically, open that and open this. And there's your load floor. It's pretty decent. You can also, I'm not going to do it on both sides, but if you push this, you can open the door all the way. I guess we can do it on both sides. There you go. And then you got a nice, big, open area. Pretty low ceiling. But I mean, you know, Airy Deeds, of course. They give you some toe straps. This is the side door we'll take a look at. Just a basic van, you know? You got your cargo strap inserts. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> there are no steps. Oh yeah, there's a little bar. And then, you know, to get these back latched, you just pull this in by federal law. They have to have the release so that if someone tries to kidnap you back here. And then you watch here. Just pull it back. You can adjust this, but it, it's spring-loaded. And then you pull this, and then you watch the clip. And then it's locked. And then you can lock it to where it won't. We'll just leave it on that. Close that side, and then here's the handle. All right. Oh, yeah, it's got these buffers, too. I'll show you. So that when it, when it opens fully, I'm holding on to this for dear life. It's a magnet of sorts, so that, okay.
doing this carefully, carefully, carefully. The bat handle's backwards. Oh, that's locked, isn't it? <sighs> Why is it? Come on. There it is. Oh, it's heavy. Some heavy ass shit. There's the door. It's obviously not powered. Bad footing. And then you can unlock this and if you wanted to, but we're not gonna fuck with that. And then there's the side. And of course, if you pull this, we're on a hill so that, you know, opens up like that. And then obviously if you're back here, you can open up this door and you can open this. See it? Closes in. I guess you could also push it like that. Would that do the same effect? Yeah. Ugh. Being on a hill, someone's cooking a bonfire. When you put it on a hill, obviously you pull it closes itself. No hubcaps because it's steelies because it's import. Alright, I'm calling it a day. I gotta return this and fill it with gas. There's the 2020 Ford Transit Van from Home Depot. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe and click like if you like what you see and follow me on the web wix.com slash the elevator world slash fans. Bye bye.